Welcome to the Sales Influence Podcast, where we talk about finding the why in how people buy. I'm your host, Victor Antonio. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for lending me your ears. Today, we continue the virtual engagement series. The big question for today is how to leave them hanging with anticipation. Oh, dig that. How to leave them hanging with anticipation because if they're trying to anticipate something, that's it. You have them. You're holding them. Now, in order to explain how to do that, let's take a step back. There's a lady who's a Soviet psychologist by the name of Bluma Zygarnik. Bluma Zygarnik, right? And she has something or invented something called the Zygarnik effect, which occurs when an activity that has been interrupted may be more readily recalled, according to Wikipedia. Now, basically it means that if you're in the middle of doing something and somebody interrupts you, you'll recall what you have to do. It postulates, as they say, that people remember unfinished or uninterrupted tasks better than completed tasks. Let me say that again, this is important. It says that people remember, that's the Zargonic effect, that people remember unfinished or interrupted tasks better than they do completed tasks. In other words, we create what is known as an open loop. When we start something and we haven't finished it, we remember it more because we know we need to finish it. That ever happened to you? You start something, you say, oh, I really need to get back to finishing that. But if you completed something, you tend to forget it because it's off the to-do list. Now, she did a study with restaurant waiters, and it showed that when the restaurant waiters or waitresses could remember, they could remember in great detail orders, requests, and even customers' names so long as the tab had not been paid. As long as the bill hadn't been paid, the actual staff could remember the order, the request, and in many cases, the customer's name. In other words, because they had not paid the bill. However, keep this in mind when you go out to a restaurant next time, when asked about people who had already paid their bills, they remembered less. Has that ever happened to you? You go to a restaurant and you pay the bill. And then as soon as you pay the bill, they stop coming around to refill your glass. Has that ever happened to you? Come on, I know it has, because it's happened to me many times. I used to take that personally. Not until now, I understand this organic effect. Now I gotta go, I get it. Because once you pay the bill, they basically forget about you. Nothing personal, it's just human nature. Because when the bill is not paid, that's an open loop. In other words, it hasn't been completed, so they need to finish that off. So they keep you in mind. So keep this in mind when you're talking to customers. How can you, in your presentation, create an open loop? In other words, leave them hanging with anticipation. Let me give you two examples. One, let's just say that I'm doing a presentation, and I'll say something like this. Now, there are three things every great salesperson does. First, they empathize with their clients. Number two, they then shift towards educating the client. Now, the third one. Now, the third one is one that you wouldn't expect. Now, before I tell you, let me show you why no one ever thinks about it. And then I start talking for another four or five minutes. And you're thinking, what is the third one, Victor? You said empathize, education, what is is the third one. That is an example of an open loop. Let me give you one more example. Now, there's only four ways to grow your sales. And that's it, four ways to grow your sales. One is you can acquire new clients, that's number one. Two, retention, you can retain existing clients. Number three, you can grow your existing client base. In other words, you can upsell them or cross sell them, sell them more products. Now, there is one more that nobody ever really thinks about. And what's even shocking is that less than 5% of the people actually implement this strategy, yet it is one of the most effective strategies and the cost of sales is almost zero. Now, why is it overlooked? Well, before I tell you, let me explain to you some of the data that we found before I tell you what it is. And in your brain, you're going, what is the fourth one? And your brain, whether you like it or not, is engaged because it can't close that loop until I give you that fourth way to grow your sales. So keep this in mind as you're presenting. Are you creating open loops in your presentation? In other words, you say, here are three things you need to know, tell them two, and then hold back one. Even in the software demo, for example, 
You can show them. I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to use this to generate reports that will tell you which salespeople are performing, which ones are not, and more specifically, why they're not performing. Before I show you that feature, let me explain what the platform does overall. But in your mind, you're thinking, well, how does he find out about salespeople? How does he generate those reports? What's in those reports? I need to know. That is creating an open loop. And we can thank Bluma Zygonic for coming up with that little tidbit. So again, look at your presentation and ask yourself, am I creating a couple of open loops to engage people in a virtual meeting? And that is it for the Sales Influence Podcast. Let me know if that was helpful. Give me some feedback. Always want to hear your opinions. Leave me some feedback on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Pandora, Spotify, or wherever you can find me. Let me know what you think. I always appreciate your feedback. Also, if you haven't checked it out already, go to Sales Velocity Academy. Check it out. 50 video, 50 courses, rather over 500 videos. I'm adding courses every month to help you sell faster and more effectively. Go to salesvelocityacademy.com. That's salesvelocityacademy.com. Lastly, I want to thank you for listening. This is Victor Antonio always reminding you, selling ain't hard when you know how. Take care. Hi, I'm Victor Antonio. I'm an author, sales trainer, and keynote speaker. I'm often asked, what makes a great speaker? Is it someone who delivers real content that the audience can use? Is it someone who engages the audience so they're part of the learning experience? Or is it someone who can motivate an audience to push them beyond their comfort zone and discover new abilities? The answer is yes. But the most important thing to remember is that I'm not there to look good. I'm there to make my client look good. Simply put, it's never about me and it's always about them.